Sarah and Rosa are waitstaff at a popular restaurant. In a workplace like this where things get busy, you need good communication skills to make sure that everything goes smoothly. Let's look at how Sarah and Rosa communicate with each other. All right, people, it's nearly time for the dinner shift, so please, let's have everything ready. Um, hey, Rosa, can you help me set up the tables quickly? It's the end of my shift. I worked lunch. Um, there's 15 minutes left until you gotta leave, by the way. Yeah. I just have to leave a little earlier today. I'm sorry, you have to set up the tables by yourself. You always leave before your shift is over. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. I just have to go early today. That's ridiculous. How come you get to leave early without finishing all the work that you're supposed to be doing? That is not true. I always stay until the end of my shift. I just have to go early today. Are you telling me you can't do the tables really quickly before you go? Seriously? Stop being so annoying. Are you kidding me? <sighs> what's the problem between Sarah and Rosa? Let's go back to the restaurant and see what's going on. Looks like there could be a little bit of a problem. Rosa, please, before you leave. What's with all the drama? I asked Rosa to help me set up the tables, but she says she can't. There's still 15 minutes left of her shift. Why does she get to leave without finishing all of her work? Mr. T, I told you I had to leave 15 minutes early today. I told you from the start of the week because of this appointment. Sarah doesn't even get that. That's true, Rosa. We did talk about you leaving earlier today. So we find out some new information here. Mr. T knew that Rosa was leaving early. If you were Mr. T, how would you resolve this issue? You know, it seems like there's a miscommunication here. Sarah, can you tell us why you're upset with Rosa? Rosa always leaves early, and then it puts a lot of pressure on me to do the work of two people. I can see where you might be upset with that. Uh, Rosa, can you tell us why you're upset with Sarah? Sarah accuses me of leaving early all the time, but that's not true. I always stay until the end of my shift. Or if I can't make it, I make it up later if you give me permission to go. I have a doctor's appointment that I can't miss. You gave me permission to go. Sarah, I'm sorry I didn't tell you that Rosa would be leaving earlier today. I tell you what, why don't you ask Claudia to help you instead? I didn't realize you had a doctor's appointment. I'm sorry I accused you of skipping work. I should have told you I was leaving early. I gotta run now, but I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you, Rosa. Hey, Claudia, can you help me with the tables? Sure. Thanks. So the restaurant's back to business as usual. Is there anything that you would have done differently if you were in this situation? How do you think staff could have avoided this type of miscommunication from happening in the future?